guys you welcome back to my channel if you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi PK Crown so guys we're going to be checking out this video titled a message to Muslims from Joda Pentasi so let's watch guys hi all I have been informed by many sources and also observed online not least because of my discussions with a variety of Muslim thinkers, supporters, and critics, that I have developed an audience in the Muslim world. Hmm. I would first like to say that I could not be more pleased or honored that such is the case. It has been so heartening to see that my biblical lectures, for example, attracted a large Muslim audience and that the comments from the Muslim watchers and listeners to my YouTube channel and podcast have been so extraordinarily positive. And all this is lovely to see in the aftermath of the extraordinary Abraham Accords, which have laid out the possibility for peace between all the people of the book in an unprecedented manner. And I have something to say as an extension of all of this. Please forgive my presumption, hmm. if you would. It is time for those of you in the Muslim world to stop fighting among yourselves, you Shiites and Sunnis. Hmm. And also time to stop regarding the Christians, and even more specifically, the Jews, as your enemies. Hmm. Why? Not least because you have the enemy located in the wrong place. First, the best place to find Satan, let's say, is within if you think the true enemy is in someone else's heart, then you haven't thought nearly long enough about the darkness within, and you have therefore fallen prey to the most subtle temptation of the ancient demonic spirit. Mm. So your best bet on the spiritual warfare front is to make of yourself and your Muslim practice something so admirable that the light shining from your well-constituted psyches and productive, generous, and wise actions is so intense that people convert to your faith from sheer admiration. There's a goal. Mm. Second, far more unites you with the other people of the book as your own prophet himself, peace be unto him, forthrightly said, than what divides you. You all believe, for example, in a book. You all believe, for example, in God and believe that you have an ultimate duty to that God. You are all followers of a prophetic tradition. And that is a tradition that unites the wisdom of the past with the vision and voice of those willing to see and speak truly and lovingly in the present. And you are all threatened in a very real sense by the system of vengeful Luciferian ideas that currently confronts all that is transcendent, traditional, and valuable on the sexual front, on the familial front, on the conceptual front, on the psychological and sociological front, and in the final analysis, hmm. on the theological front. So how about we all quit squabbling over trinkets and details and face the real problem. And I should also point out that it is not the individual carriers of the woke, politically correct, degenerate, neo-Marxist ideas that should be regarded as the enemy either. First, we must take the idea that the satanic impulse within is the prime enemy with all due seriousness. Second, we must understand that even those quite possessed by the spirit of Cain that attracts and drives confused and lost people to the Luciferian ideologies of the materialist utopians are, in the ideal, fully redeemable and only partially consumed. Even the committed student ideologues who have, for example, attacked me and others like me rather viciously are generally, say, 90%, or perhaps 80, reasonable and potentially civilized people who could still see the light. Hmm. Muslims, 
reach across the sectarian divide. Shiites, find a Sunni pen pal. Communicate with someone on the other side. Sunnis, do the same. And then maybe reach out tentatively to a Christian or even, heaven forbid, a Jew. Because perhaps it is time for those who purport to be followers of God to act like it hmm. and to be convincing in those actions, even to those whose premature cynicism and skepticism have driven them into the towers of Babel constructed by the avatars of the resentful intellect. Is there someone in the Muslim world willing to build an electronic system to bring people from the Sunni and Shiite community together? A place where people of goodwill could reach electronically across the divide, person to person, and to formulate the kinds of personal, trusting friendships upon which a lasting peace truly might be founded? A place where Jews and Christians, willing and eager to open communication with their Muslim brothers, might do just that? There's a task for someone looking for a purpose, and it's an open invitation to do just that. If you build it, they will come. If you build it, get in touch with me. You'll figure out how to do it, and I'll publicize it. Thank you, all my Muslim listeners, watchers, and readers, for your kind attention and patience. I wish you well as you strive to become the light in the world that your faith truly demands. Hmm. Let's see if we can unite as people of the book and negotiate our way toward the paradise that we might truly and jointly attain. Wow, that was really direct. That was really straightforward. Like he said, we should show love. What he's trying to say in all is, let there be love among all religion, be it your Muslim or Christian, do not, you know, hate on any religion. Do not try to put any religion down. We should show love to one another. And you also talk about um, Muslims that, you know, do bad stuff. Most people believe that most of this terrorism, you know, that happens here and there. Some people do say, or um, some people believe it's coming from Muslims. So it's trying to tell us that, we should try to show love. Love and peace is the paramount, like is the most important thing of all. Like he started his message with him talking about how Muslims show, you know, support on his channel. He notices that on his channel, um, mostly is Muslims that actually watch his videos. So based on these stuff he has been seeing or hearing on social media here and there, so he's just trying to, you know you know encourage everyone encourage muslims encourage everyone not to look down any religion and to just show love and you know peace unity is very very important and you know and it gets some small some example like it was really interesting to watch like one thing i noticed about muslims is that they they, they know how to support each other like i'm not trying to say christian to support each other i'm not saying that guys but they know how to support like when it comes to then learning about maybe their religion or something or something that we trust them they are ready to support the person they're ready to watch the video they're ready to you know christians do do that but you know th th there's one kind of zeal muslims do have so he's just trying to encourage every muslim out there the the ones that are going on the wrong path you know they should change they should try and change and live a positive life and you know love is very important yes love well love is very important like in the bible there's faith hope and love but the greatest one is love yes the greatest thing of all is love out of faith hope and love so thank you all for watching guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one stay blessed